How does an A-list star turn heads on the red carpet? I'm Jessica Harlow, and that's next on Live Dress. I'm a sweatpants and jeans girl when it comes to every day, but when there's a red carpet, I really step it up. I glam it up for that. I have to say that my character probably inspired more of my personal style than the other way around. It kind of evolved in the way she dresses, which is the Upper East Side and kind of preppy, but classic and chic at the same time. Our live dress style team is set to give Beth a brand new look from head to toe. We've got wardrobe with Alicia, hair by Kale, and makeup by Kristen. With this look, we're recreating a Hollywood glam look. I always love anything that accentuates that waist, and, and this is, yeah, the 40s Hollywood glam, I love it. And why it lends so well to the Hollywood glam look is that it creates a very curvaceous silhouette. Let's see what else I have in store. Beth, this is an edgy look because we're thinking outside of the box. I'm a huge fan of black. I like things that are edgier, things that are tailored. I could wear it, you know, to like a, an opening or fashion week. But I would like to see a few more options on Beth. Red goddess glamour. Oh my gosh, Beth, you look stunning. This is an amazing, amazing dress. I won't be able to walk in it on the car, but I'll have to have, you know, little flower girls following me to pick it up and carry me over, but. You're gonna have gorgeous men helping <laughs> yeah. you glide across that red carpet. I know the moment that I zipped you into that dress, I knew it was perfect for you. I think we found a winner. I think so too. Alicia has found a stunning red dress for Beth. Now it's time for Kale to glam up her hair. Best hair color and texture would be described as a, uh, a nice even platinum blonde, which uh, really gives freedom to work with. When I was in college, I, I started dyeing my own hair. Women are often telling me the main reason they're neglecting their color is because of their busy schedule. It really limits us when we're styling because roots and dull color is definitely gonna show up in an updo. They have one solution. It's the John Frieda Precision Foam Color. The Precision Foam Color gives you salon quality color results at home. It's perfect. So what we're gonna do with you is a uh, center part, pull back into a nice sleek pony, and then loop it through to give it a little bit of flair and uh, punch in your style today. Now that Beth's hair is complete, it's time for Kristen to take over with makeup. It's important at big events that you stand out for the right reasons, and so I'm gonna take bold makeup but balance it with something a little bit more natural so that Beth can really shine through. One thing that can really help out when you're doing a red lip is to use a little bit of luminizer on the cupid's bow of the mouth and that'll just cause everything to look more pulled up and voluptuous. It's killing me, I can't see this yet. I like, there's no mirrors around here, so I can't wait. It's gonna be a real reveal for me too. You can see Go to livedress.com slash johnfrieda online or on your mobile device. Then take our quiz, learn more about John Frieda Precision Foam Color and how it can help you get gorgeous color with brilliant shine. You know, when in doubt, keep it classic, right? That's true, that's like my <laughs> motto. <laughs> exactly, yeah. that's what I live by. Because it gives you that hourglass figure. And that's the magic with the peplum. I mean, it was huge in the 40s. And why it was so huge is because it was giving us extra volume just around the hip line. You look fierce. I feel fierce. I feel like I'm ready to rock. 